So this implies that <coughs> review of a related literature is very important. The review of the literature is also have to be organized thematically to conform with the specific problems. It should be synthesized such that evidence from all the studies reviewed would get an overall understanding of the state knowledge in the problem area. So this all impl uh, implies the importance of related literature. Most literature review should use standard formula for a verb tenses. The publication manual of APA, American Psychological Association, should be followed should be used by past tense and perfect tense. There are some guidelines on the fixing writing of the review of later literature. Research papers must be written in a formal style. Should be not written in informal style should be informal formal way it means which is in the third person not in the first person you cannot say i or we or something like that you have to state in the third person A research paper must be written in a formal style it should avoid use of a jargon. Use familiar terms in place of terminologies. Language should be neutral, a gender, no sexy language. As such things have to be followed. Here is an example. Peter 1993 claims that Job related stress can enhance productivity up to certain points. There is, however, a threshold point beyond which stress becomes a harmful factor in one's productivity. On the other hand, Saunders 1999, Albert Rizat, in his experience, as a clinical psychologist, stress always produces a negative effect on one's productivity. Here is also another sample too. The ideas of using the sample mean as a measure of central tendency, etc. So this all implies what? The importance and how the review of related literature should be written this all implies that one okay related studies related studies are work based on empirical data review of related studies one must be careful to the problem to the methodology to the finding instrument conclusion and so much so more the researcher reviews such studies by commenting on the research design used given the problem statement is the design appropriate to answer the question post he proceeds to comment on the possibility and the scope of application of the finding 
given in the information on the research design and instruments used by a researcher. The researcher motivation for concluding conducting the study uh, usually found in the introduction, statement of the problem, the variable involved in the study, including the quantification. The researcher reviews both local and foreign studies in, in order to give a balanced presentation of the investigation conducted in a various setting. Both local and foreign studies have their own importance. They are normally reviewed on chronological order to establish the time order progression of the topic. Conflicting results may be observed because of the difference in population frame, research design, absence or presence of appropriate control, etc. The use of following phrases and expressions that help expresses related literature and the studies are in 1999 Dizon stressed that from the book of studio entitled Practice of Research published by the National Bookstore Inc. etc. So you have to write or as such way okay here is an example example number one or sample one in the sample two so you can follow these things Bernard pointed out that good teachers vary their combination of traits but the listed characteristic do indicate what the teachers should strive for this is one example Another one, Rain 1999, Find, found out that the qualities of good teachers are not absolute. They are interest, instead interested in traits that may vary in their merits, depending upon educational philosophy, pupil characteristic, course level, and content. significance of the study this section describes the contribution of the study to knowledge this could be in the form of new knowledge in the field a check on the major finding of other studies a check on validity of the finding in different population a check on trends over time and a check on the other finding using a different methodology. It discusses the importance of the study to the society. Guidelines in writing importance of significance of the study. The rationale, timeliness, and the relevance of the study to existing condition must be explained. Possible solutions to existing problem or improvement to unsatisfactory conditions. It must be shown who are individuals, groups, or communities who may be placed in a more advantageous position on account of the study. Possible contribution to be a fount of knowledge. And it should discuss the implications, including the possible cause of problems discovered, the positive effects of the problem, and the remedial measures to solve the problems.
the use of following phrases could help express the importance of the study. Such as the result of this study should help them realize and such things are importance of the study. Here is many examples you can use these things. The result could help benefit. This study will also afford the management to know. Similar organizations will benefit from the study in research may find the study use as dash. So as such things are what? These are the way you can write the significance of the study. The finding may serve as a guide to importance addressing the nation the national context problem, bridging the knowledge gaps useful to the society community, present state of affairs, affected stakeholders and such things. The tenth one is operational definition. Define technical terms, jargon, or similar words used in a specialized way in, or in your study. Alphabetical order intended in italics and much more. Do not define familiar definition of familiar terms, example data perception. Guidelines in writing definition of terms are here. Define those terms which, though may be common, may have special meaning or differently used. Define special terms or language created by some discipline. Define only what is absolutely necessary and do not precise by using an authoritative document. If you cannot find an um, alternative definition, find the use or two such definitions. Cite them and try to create your own definition as used in researches. Another one is the scope of the study. We will continue our lesson from this.